Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through a seven bedroom student rental property that we rent out to Brock University students. This home is located in Thorold. We're gonna take you through a full walkthrough and at the end, we're gonna show you the numbers on this property and how good the cash flow is. So here we've got a front porch area, which is great for the students to hang out in when the weather's nice. And then I wanna point out this, we just installed a keypad lock and we really like this because every year or two years or three years, however, however long the student tenants stay during the duration of the program, they're gonna move out. And it's so much easier to just change the code on the lock to keep the new lock secure for the new tenants. And so nobody has an old key. Then it is to try and get new key copies made, get key copies for seven different students. It's easier just to change the code once and then everyone can use that one code. So here's a front entry area. And when we first bought this house, we noticed how the students were living in it because it was already preoccupied with student tenants. And the front area was just a disaster. There were shoes everywhere, jackets everywhere. There wasn't any clear organization. So we wanted to try and make uh, the student lives easier and more organized. And this also helps us with our marketing. And so what we did is we installed all these hooks here in the front. Uh, we brought in a shoe rack just off of Amazon, uh, a nice rug, shoe mats, just to make it nice for the winter time and for students actually living here. And then we printed out and laminated these signs here, just what goes in all the boxes here because people might be unfamiliar with the Niagara uh, garbage and how it all works. And then usually the students also keep the bins here, which allows them to to keep the place nice and clean and organized. And we kind of suggest it as well because we want the place to be kept clean. So here's the kitchen. Uh, there's two students living here already. So it's a bit lived in, um, but it's a modern kitchen. It's uh, pretty attractive. We have a dishwasher, which students love. We also have another laminated sign here, just uh, telling um, people what to not pour down the sink because that obviously reduces any maintenance issues that we have from people putting you know, food peelings, that type of stuff down the sink. So we just have that reminder. And then here on the side of the fridge, this is what we call our house Bible. So we have our emergency contact numbers. We have the house rules around cleanliness, the garbage pickup schedule and how that works, expectations around interior and exterior maintenance, how the keys will work, all the safety equipment is listed in this home, how often we're gonna be doing property inspections, um, rent collection process, where to send rents, so there's no confusion, everyone can move in, and in clear sight, they see all the rules for the house. Also here, we have a fire extinguisher installed. On every single floor, we have one installed on the wall in plain sight for easy access for tenants, in case of any fire issues. And now we have three full bathrooms in this home. The more full bathrooms you have, the better, especially with a five, six or seven bedroom student rental because everyone just wants their own space. You don't want like five people all using the one full bathroom. So we've got three full bathrooms, one on each level of this home. So it's got a soaker tub, shower, everything you need in a bathroom. We also have reminders here to only throw toilet paper in the toilet, nothing else, no Q-tips, tampons, condoms, band-aids, that type of stuff. Again, we're just trying to solve issues ahead of time by preventing them in the first place. So the main floor of this home actually used to all be a living room. It was like a regular single family home, but now it's been chopped up into three different bedrooms on the main floor. So I'll take you into one. Students kind of like halfway moved in. Some of the bedrooms in this home have closets already pre-built. The ones that didn't, you'll see these uh, makeshift closets that we bought off Amazon. And then in every bedroom as well, we installed these full body mirrors. So these are just like small touches that we thought would be nice if we were students to have if we moved into a student rental. So this is the type of stuff we wanted to think about and it really, really helps us with our marketing as because we do a walkthrough video kind of like this, but marketing towards the students, showing them all the features we have installed in the house. So there's another bedroom there and then um, some students are in this one. So we don't need to show those ones, but they're just basic bedrooms. Okay, come on upstairs. So another great thing about this home is the amount of windows letting in light. Um, you can see it's a really bright uh, home and we have this front closet area up here that people just kind of use for storage and stuff. What we're actually thinking of doing because it's so deep is putting like a communal desk and making like a communal study area because some of the bedrooms are smaller. Uh, it's very tight for a student to have a desk in there. And so I think what we're gonna do is just get like an Ikea desk and a chair set up and have like a communal study area right up here in the hallway. We've got another fire extinguisher, another full bathroom in here. We even installed these, um, so we installed extra hooks because two people are gonna be using this bathroom and even these shower caddies. 
And it's these small things, but it makes a difference when we tell students about all this stuff because it's things they don't have to buy and it's you know things that they're gonna be enjoying. Uh, this one is locked. I forgot to bring the keys, but it's an upstairs bedroom. Here, I can take you in. It, it looks similar to this room. It's got a nice big window. And then here is the closet that I was mentioning. So for any room that doesn't have a pre-built closet, we wanted to save the money instead of building and doing all the drywall to build the closet in here. We just purchased these on Amazon. I think they're maybe like 50, 60, 80 bucks uh, each one. And the students really like them. They can hang their clothes. It's got shelving. And uh, one more thing. We have uh, room keys on every room so students um, can lock their doors if they want. Typically, they don't even actually do this because we're getting a, one group of seven friends in this home. So if it's a five bed, we would get five uh, friends to live in this home, but because it's a seven bedroom, we're getting seven friends. So they kind of trust each other. They're already friends. They're not really locking their doors, but we want to give them the option just in case. So every key is labeled with which bedroom it is and it makes it easy for us uh, when the tenants move out to know which keys are for which rooms for the new tenants. It saves a lot of time instead of having to try to figure out what the keys are for, make key copies, all that type of stuff. So another thing we wanted to do is install this railing on the way down just to make things safe uh, and also prevent any liability issues from someone falling down the stairs because we have that. Another thing we did is we printed and laminated this sign showing where the main water shutoff for the house is in case there's ever any issue with the water. Uh, the students likely wouldn't know where to turn it off and it would be hard communicating that. So we put a big clear sign here and then another sign in there literally showing how to turn it off by just twisting that. So that this is a good idea with any rental property to install um, because it just makes things easier should there be a water emergency for your tenant to know where it is and turn it off. Another thing we have is a second fridge. So with seven students, one fridge upstairs, even though it's a full-size fridge, isn't enough. Uh, we clearly noticed that when we first bought the house and there were seven guys all trying to use one fridge. So we bought this second fridge with a freezer and uh, the students love having that option. Down here is the main common room for the house. And this is especially important if you're gonna get one group of friends and have them all on one lease, which is what we like to do uh, because it eliminates so many problems, which I'll talk about later. Um, but you want to have a common area for them to all hang out in. Otherwise, it's like a boarding house where everyone only has their own room. So this common area, they're going to have a TV set up. It's still in the summer, so everyone hasn't moved in yet. But they'll have a TV set up. And then it seems like students just want the furniture from the last students before. So every year when the students move out, I say, hey guys, uh, is it cool if you just leave the furniture? And they say, yeah. And then the new students, I ask them if they want the furniture and they usually say yes. Another thing you'll notice, the walls are pretty marked up down here. And uh, you know, it, it doesn't look its best right now. It is a student property. So the expectations aren't for it to be as perfect as maybe a regular family property. But um, you still wanna keep it kind of clean and updated every like maybe three to four years, something like that. So once these uh, students move on, we'll likely be paying in the whole house. Here is the one washer and dryer for the property. Again, we have another sign that we printed and laminated reminding students to please clean the lint trap after every use. And we put garbage pails in every bathroom and in here so they can throw the lint out. Uh, we put more storage shelving in there. And then I'll show you in here. This is the third full bathroom of the house. So another tub, we've got the shower caddies, extra hooks installed here. And then we gave them all these things like a toilet brush so, so they can, we can encourage them to keep it clean. More garbage pails, more signs. In here we have an awesome storage area which students tend to use as like a dry pantry area. So they keep all their dry food down here because the kitchen is limited, uh, limited upstairs in space. So we bought these uh, shelving units just off of Amazon for pretty cheap. And we also just bought a chest freezer to give them even more room for their food, especially frozen food, students love it. Frozen pizzas, uh, Jamaican patties, that type of thing. So there's another option for them to have storage for food. And this is the type of stuff that people love uh, when we're advertising the home because they know they're gonna have space and it's gonna be comfortable living with seven of their other people, right? Okay, so we've got the last two bedrooms of the home. This is bedroom number six and seven. This one is by far the smallest bedroom in the house. And this is a good point that I should bring up because on the lease, what we do is we just charge one rental amount for the entire house and we leave it up to the students to decide how much each room is worth. 
So for this house, uh, the rental income every month is $4,550, which is $650 a bedroom split between seven bedrooms. So that's what these tenants moved in, have decided to do, keep it all even. But some other students might decide that this is worth $625 in one of the bedrooms upstairs, which is bigger and brighter, is worth $675. So however they split it up, we leave it up to them. All we care about is getting the $4,550 every single month. We have one lease for the property. And this is uh, bedroom number seven. This one has a small closet, so we left it um, as it is. And uh, that's pretty much it for the inside of the home, guys. So as with any rental property, the more parking, the better. So we lucked out with a nice big driveway here where you can get four cars. In terms of shoveling the snow, we've provided snow shovels to the students that we keep in the shed so that they can shovel the driveway in the wintertime. And in terms of lawn care, you honestly can't really expect tenants to take care of the lawn. So what we've done is hired a company and the guy comes weekly to cut the grass. I think it's about 40 bucks a cut, which we're trying to get down actually and hire another student on the street because it's a lot of student rentals to do it. So that's probably gonna come down in price, but that's what we do for lawn care. So another thing that we noticed when we bought the house is all the students that were currently living here had no organization system set up for garbage. And so they were literally just throwing trash on the bottom of this shed here and there was rats and it got pretty nasty. So what we wanted to make sure is once those tenants moved on, that we set up a nice organization system for the tenants to keep things clean and organized. So we bought these big bins, we got extra recycling bins and compost bins from the city as well. Um, here are the shovels that I mentioned, and then students can also keep their bikes in here. So it's great to have an outdoor storage option, whether it's a garage or an external shed on the property for students to store outdoor gear like their bikes, that type of stuff. And one last thing, we have extra garbage tags here for the students to use because I believe in Niagara, you're only allowed two garbage bags every two weeks, which isn't enough for seven people. So we bought a bunch of extra garbage tags store them here and that way it keeps things way more clean and organized because they're not going to go out and buy these on their own. Okay guys, let's go through the numbers here. So we bought this house for $650,000 in February of 2022. Uh, now we're getting $650 a bedroom. At the time when we bought it, it was only getting $575 a bedroom. So we were able to bring the rents up. Uh, now we rent for $4,550 for the entire house. That's seven bedrooms at $650 a room. Our mortgage at a 5.45% rate is $28.97, taxes $282, insurance $253, property insurance is typically a bit higher with student rentals, utilities is $250, bucks, and uh, it's common with student rentals for the landlords to cover utilities. The reason $250 bucks is so low for seven people living here is because it's a 12-month lease that goes from May 1st to the end of April, which is common with student rentals, um, but students aren't typically moving in until September. Like right now it's June and there's two students who are here in the summer, but right now all the other bedrooms are empty, but we're still getting rent, but we're not paying for those utilities. So our average utility cost for the year is down to 250. Lawn care, 160 a month, and then a house cleaner. This is something we're gonna start doing this year, which we also used in our marketing for this property, is have a professional house cleaner come maybe four times throughout the school year, just to come and clean all the common areas of the home because people tend to keep their bedrooms clean, but the common areas like kitchens, bathrooms, hallways, staircases, they kind of let that go because nobody takes ownership over it with seven different people using it. I kind of get it. So we have a cleaner that's now gonna come and, and keep it clean and it's less work when the property turns over. It doesn't get all this caked on grossness over time. Uh, internet, some uh, landlords will cover, but we don't. It is an advantage to cover. Maybe you can get a bit more rent. I just don't want to deal with the headaches of if internet comes down, they're going to be calling me to sort it out. I'd rather they deal with it so I have students pay for their own internet. So total expenses all in is $3,942. Our rent is $4,550. Our monthly cash flow is about $608 and we love this property. It's actually my favorite uh, property in my portfolio because the cash flow is so great. Even with rates higher, it's still spitting off cash flow. When rates eventually come down one day, it's gonna be cash flowing amazing. So if you like this type of walkthrough video through an actual rental property that we're renting out in Southern Ontario, please like this video and comment below if you wanna see more of these types of videos and give us a subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we release a new video. We're really upping our content game and we want you to be a part of it and see it all. So please like the video, subscribe, comment below if you wanna see more of this type of stuff.